Hi, this is Richard Thomas. And I'm Tiffany Thomas. Welcome to the Lionheart Institute podcast. This is our Parazon Clips, and I hope you will enjoy this short segment of a longer episode. One of the additional topics I just wanted to, to mention um, in regards to Trump's stand on the whole, I've done more for the black community, right? That whole statement that he likes to claim. Um, yeah, he claims. Right. So if he's truly done so much as he claims, then why, when racism and police brutality is brought up, he has nothing to say? So good. So, like uh, millions of people, I watched the last presidential debate, and that was actually a question. That was actually brought up to both Biden and Trump. Okay. And Trump didn't even talk about it. Okay, he, he deflected the whole conversation, changed the topic, didn't address raci- racism, didn't address police brutality. Whenever he's asked about the deaths of black men and women and children from police brutality, he always says the same thing. It's a tragedy. Right. But we're going to support the men in blue. We're going to support our police officers. It's always about empowering the police officers. He never once talks about the issues. Yeah. The issues of what caused all these riots and protests and everything in the first place. It's powerful. But one thing that stood out to me is when Biden was asked this question, he full out said systemic racism is real. Now, that is the first time I personally have ever heard a president or presidential candidate come out and acknowledge systemic racism as a problem as a very real factor. And and that was something that greatly stood out to me because we are in the midst of so much violence right now because of the death of George Floyd started the whole chain reaction this summer, Breonna Taylor. People just weren't able to catch their breath. No, I mean, it's just all these things and all the new information coming out about the AG involved with Breonna Taylor's case and the the grand jury and all the lies and deceit that the the public was fed and all the truth behind it. I mean, it's just mind blowing right now. And in the midst of all this, our president could make an impact right. in what is should going on in this country, impact. should make an impact with what's going on in this country, but he won't even acknowledge it's a problem. Removing training that would address it right. from government. He's now officially removed cultural diversity training from federally funded programs and, and, and businesses because, to because it's anti-American. System. But yet he will not address one of the biggest issues yeah. in this country. And for me, that I was just like, how could you not talk about it? Right. Like, he didn't even talk about it. I mean, he just literally it avoided it. it. Yeah. And I thought to myself, this is a real problem in this country. Around the world, things are happening where they recognize that so right. racism is a problem in the United States. I mean, this is a worldwide acknowledgement. NBA, NFL. World soccer. Yeah, they are all taking knees. They are all recognizing systemic racism is an issue in the United States. This right. isn't just our problem. They're all recognizing. They're all standing with so us. So if you go to a game in Europe, mm-hmm. a soccer game in Europe, yeah. you expect to see people kneeling. They're going to take a knee. Because they get that it's a real problem in the United States. But our own president won't even acknowledge that it's a problem. Right. And, and to me, that how can a president who claims to have done more for the black people in this country than any other president in our entire history, so good. how can he not even acknowledge systemic racism? How can you not have a prepared dialogue about it? Right. right? When you're asked that question, if you've done so much, it's been so prevalent on your mind, how do you not have some kind of a response right. to that topic? So good. It's, just, it's definitely eye-opening to think about. It is. Challenge is really where you think your vote should be. We, we take things for face value so easily, and we just accept it as truth and fact. But the more you research, and I promise you I spend a lot of time talking to people on social media, and I research a lot, you can ask Richard, because I don't want to give misinformation, right? I don't want to give false statements that were fake news to other people. Mm. I want to be able to say that I know this to be true because I researched it with my own eyes, and I found the information. Because I, I don't know how many people have sent me messages saying, you know, you really should just research the truth about who Trump is or research the truth about who Biden is as if I haven't actually already done that. Right. And that's the problem because my opinion differs for them. They believe that I haven't done my research. And if you haven't done your own research, 
this has just been a stepping stone to hopefully stimulate a little bit of conversation mm-hmm. one way or the other. Whoever wins this 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 uh, presidency is going, we're going to have to figure out how to get along. So it's right. important that we know where the other party comes from so that we can begin to create a bridge uh, to really pass over in relationship and in building our country back to where right. it wants to be. Um, now, he said he said that he has this great vehicle of prison reform. Mm-hmm. He's taking the gas away from it, meaning yeah. no funding. Mm-hmm. But certainly, historical black college.